have you ever been in a place where it felt as if the landscape was watching you? Joshua Tree National Park definitely emanates wonder and a mysteriousness found nowhere else. The park is located in Southern California and is where two deserts, ecosystems, and identities collide. The higher in elevation Mojave Desert meets the lower Colorado Desert in what is called the Transition Zone. It is this transition zone where you can find a beautiful mix of flora and fauna from both ecosystems. You can also find the iconic Joshua Tree in the Mojave. Temperatures can fluctuate greatly from day and night, so do be prepared if you do go camping. Today's hike was located in the south side of the park, to a lost desert oasis. You can find evidence of the Pinto culture, such as this pestle and mortar, used for grinding herbs and other plants. One of the things I noticed after a few miles is just how quiet the desert really can be. It's almost eerie. Nothing besides your footsteps, an occasional breeze, and critter just vastness. Encompassing a total of 790,000 acres, this park is slightly larger than the state of Rhode Island. With 429,000 acres being designated wilderness, I wouldn't recommend getting too lost. This trail is part of the Colorado Desert, which is part of the larger Sonoran Desert which encompasses about 7 million acres. You'll find all sorts of scrubs such as yucca, chola cactus, saltbush, and creosote. The rock formations you see are formed by tectonic plate movements, and the shapes of the formations are caused by flash floods over the years creating the rounded appearance in the stone. Eventually, the narrow path opens up to a viewpoint where you are met with dozens of beautiful California palms. We finally made it to the Lost Palms Oasis. It's truly amazing to find life out here in such abundance made for an incredible landscape to witness. These palms sit on a mostly dry riverbed, eagerly waiting for the winter rains for more sustenance. An oasis is formed by crisscrossing geological faults that leave a crack in the Earth's crust. The groundwater from the Earth rises to the surface, which can form an oasis. If you're not tired yet, you can hike to the bottom and see these beautiful trees up close. Just be careful, the trail officially ends at the top viewpoint and it's easy to get lost if you're not attentive. These palms are truly massive and inspiring. They are also the only palm tree actually native to California. And would you look at that, we found the water in the oasis. Could use a little bit more though. As the sun starts to fade, I couldn't help but think, no matter how barren or rugged, life can be found anywhere. Nature's resiliency never ceases to amaze me. And it's that same resiliency that allows you and I to keep moving forward. Joshua Tree is a wild and magical place, one you should consider visiting if you ever get the chance.